Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the bus routing uh, option inside the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got a scenario here where I've got a, a connector and an FPGA and a set of connections that I want to go and make. Um, and because of the way that they kind of they come out of this connector um, sequentially, effectively, um, what it does is it means I can actually route these in one go rather than doing them individually. So I've got a couple of options here. I can I can use the Etch Edit mode, um, which is one of the application modes. So I can window select all the connections, hover over any connection and do a right click add connect and I'm then effectively routing in, in etch edit mode. The alternative is um, I can actually invoke a command. So I could uh, go to the root connect command, um, I could use the icon, um, I could press the F3 key or I can just invoke it from the menu. Um, so I pick the layers that I want to route between from and to, I'm going to between the top and the bottom. I'm just going to window select all the connections and then, then um, they get selected and I can start to route. So first things first, I want to change um, which is the control trace, what, what's going to be the driving point for this, this set of routes. I want it to be the center connection. So I can do this from a right click, change control trace, um, and then go and select the center pin, um, and I'm now working from that point. The next thing I can do is effectively change the, the route spacing, so the gap between all the pins, or all the tracks effectively. So I've got um, options from a right click route spacing. I can either use the current space, a minimum DRC, or a user defined value. So we'll click OK to that. Um, that then next the tracks down to that value. Um, I want to add a via, so I double click to add a via. Default pattern is coming in as a staggered one. Um, I've got a choice of perpendicular, diagonal left, right, out taper and in taper. And I can also adjust the spacing. So just give you a quick example of what the via patterns look like. They're pretty self-explanatory really. So. So let's go and choose um, uh, the stagger one. Um, you can also adjust the, the spacing between the wires. So I can adjust the, the spacing if I want to. We'll click and place the wires and then we'll continue on with the routing. So we'll just pan across. So as we get closer to kind of the FPGA, um, I actually want to start to route these not as a bus, but individually. Um, so I can actually do that from a right click. If we change the control trace first to, to the outside outermost one, and then I can go into something called single trace mode, and then it's just a matter of coming in and selecting the pins and working way and finishing the connections. Okay. So obviously lots of clicks of the mouse to be able to do any of this. So I can actually assign shortcut keys for this. Um, so if we just uh, start this lot again, so we'll window select all the connections, we'll do an add connect. Um, so I can do, uh, let's get the, so one would effectively change the space. So, uh, So I've changed the routing space there. Two allows me to pick a control trace. Three effectively allows me to change the, the via spacing. Four adds the vias and then five cycles through the via patterns. So you can actually speed up options like that as well. And what I'll do is I'll just bring in, uh, this is the, the text that you would need to put into your um, EMV file. So you might want to pause the video here and actually look at that. Um, and then uh, that should stop you or, or allow you to use shortcut keys to be able to do that uh, command.